Summit provides the backdrop for a dramatic finish at Kenlock. Featuring inspiring views of the lake, golfers must avoid the fairway bunkers and play the ball onto a green that rests on a peninsula. Golfers who are playing aggressively for a strong finish must remain cognizant that the wind can push a forceful shot toward the green and into the lake. 18 is a wonderful finishing hole. The uh, lake is fully exposed. The expanse of Kenlock is fully exposed. Clubhouse in the background. Wide fairway, obviously the trouble's all to the left in the lake. A uh, very reasonable hole from the regular tee, a very difficult hole from the back tee. Placed about 425 yards from the back. It's, uh, it's pretty, it's uh, very expressive of the clubhouse and the whole ambiance that was created. Uh, and it is also a very difficult hole. One that you see a lot of balls in the water, you see a lot in the bunker to the right trying to stay out of the water. I think it's a wonderful way to finish Kenlock's 18 holes. Normally I try to play 18 with a slight fade off the right off the edge of the lake into the middle of the fairway, looking at probably being able to carry the first little inlet. Uh, from the back tee, it's a far more difficult shot for me. I have to play at the bunkers knowing full well I can't get to the bunkers. Uh, front tee is a probably a seven, eight iron shot to a fairly severe right to left sloping green with a big bunker on the right. Uh, back tee can be as much as a three or four iron uh, again for me. It's a hole that I am able to make birdie on, need to a lot of times when, uh, when the chips are down, and uh, a hole I should par with uh, pretty much regularity.